Boom. All right, what's going on, you guys? It's Royce Jacob, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about Ethereum, what it is, and why I currently have 10% of my net worth tied up in my Ethereum position, okay? So money where my mouth is, let's get into this. Um, first things first, we're going to go over the topics that we're going to be talking about, and then I'll dive a little deeper into each one, um, into more specifics. Okay, so first we're going to be talking about the price action. I'm going to be looking at the Ethereum chart and kind of going over with you guys what I think about the current chart and the historical chart and where I think Ethereum is going price wise over the next six to 12 months, even years beyond. Okay, because I'm I'm very long term bullish on Ethereum. I think that Ethereum as an asset really has a, has a, a great future ahead of it. Okay, so we'll get into price action first. And then we'll get into the fundamentals, all right? What makes Ethereum important? What makes it such a valuable asset that has such a future? All right, so again, what is Ethereum from their own words? Or in their own words, I should say. This is the Ethereum website. And then we'll get into what I believe is the most important feature of Ethereum and what makes, again, Ethereum that revolutionary technology. And that is DeFi or decentralized finance, okay? So... Um, First, actually, before we get into the charts, I want to go over with you guys kind of briefly what I think Ethereum is, um, almost in an elevator pitch way, okay? So Ethereum, if someone just, if one of my friends asked me what Ethereum is, I would say it's the future of finance, okay? So it's, it's banking 2.0. It's the next generation of money in a sense, okay? And again, we'll get into that more in depth once we get to this segment but first let's go over the charts let's take a look at the charts all right so this is a daily chart of ethereum and as you can see today um we had a great day ethereum popped up about over over 10 percent today and um that's amazing it, in such crazy times like these when there's so much economic uncertainty and the markets are crazy um, it really speaks to to the power or, and and the strength of uh, the cryptocurrency market overall because the entire cryptocurrency market did well today okay so it's it's great to see that what has been traditionally viewed as such an uncertain asset class is perform performing so well in times like these okay and i think that can primarily primarily be attributed to to um, all of the financial news that's going on right the the trillions of dollars that are about to be pumped into our economy and it's making people a lot more um curious as to as to what uh, what's really going on in finance right because it's making people educate themselves further on finance and make make them more financially savvy again because they're hearing about these uh, trillion dollar stimulus packages um, all of the kind of shadiness right now that's going on economically and again that is pushing people to educate themselves about alternatives and and things that do um will will play inevitably in my mind a big role in the future of finance um, overall okay so again that's great that ethereum just popped today but i really want to focus i don't want to focus on the day as much as i want to focus on the long term all right so that's a crazy looking chart right um i'm sure some of you guys are from i'm not sure how many of you guys are familiar with this actually but um it's good that you're learning. Again, it's great that you're here, that you're learning. If that if that little price pop today or the recent price action drove you here, that's awesome. Again, because people, more and more people are just at home. Everyone's quarantined. More people are at home wanting to educate themselves about this, okay? So it's great that you're educating yourself and learning about what, um, again, in my opinion, is the future of finance, all right? Because at, at times like these, it's very important to, to be educating yourselves on topics like this. All right, so... Again, crazy chart. Uh, this is 2017. So uh, for those of you who are around during 2017, if you remember that initial cryptocurrency bull run, um, Ethereum hit $1,400. All right, so that's crazy. And you might, you might remember Bitcoin, um, the king of the space, hit $20,000 back in 2017. And Ethereum is, um, for those of you who don't know, the second largest cryptocurrency. Okay, so Ethereum is number two. Bitcoin's number one. Bitcoin went um, went up to twenty thousand. Ethereum went from literally. Um, I remember in early twenty seventeen when I first invested, Ethereum was sixty dollars. So I bought Ethereum at sixty dollars. It went all the way up to fourteen hundred dollars in the span of less than a year. So that really also speaks to to how crazy um, crazy the prices on these assets can can act when uh, the market really sees. The potential of them okay so again this is a revolutionary technology 
it's not it's not crazy to see such such volatile crazy movement on an asset that is is truly revolutionary in that sense okay so um again the reason i want to go back here um, in terms of where i think the price is going to go in the future is because that with like i was saying these these assets that are revolutionary and have have bubbled up in the past it's not crazy to see them 10x or i should say 5 to 10x 5x on the conservative side but it would not be crazy to see ethereum 10x or bitcoin etc like all of these assets 10x their previous highs okay so ethereum at 1400 right let's say 10x's over the next few years it could potentially reach fourteen thousand dollars all right and that is i i my long term say say three to four years down the road i would not be surprised at all to see ethereum hit twenty thousand dollars okay that's kind of my longer term price target i'm not thinking much further than that just practically um but i do think ethereum in this next market cycle will hit at least ten thousand dollars and i personally am not closing out any of my ethereum position until it reaches at least ten thousand dollars okay so um <clears throat> think about that we're at 170 dollars right now that's a lot of room for it to grow in my mind okay and again it's going to be very up and down on the way don't expect it to be a straight shot there we're in this for the long run and you should be uh especially if you're just getting familiar with this i would advise not trading this market um don't panic if you buy it and it ends up going down focus on the long term focus on the fundamentals of this project again because the fundamentals are what make this an important project and will make it actually worth ten thousand dollars one day all right so on the topic of fundamentals let's get into fundamentals all right so again this is ethereum.org this is ethereum's website and this is how they describe their um kind of just in a in a very brief way this is how they describe their project ethereum is a global open source platform for decentralized applications on Ethereum, you can write code that controls digital value, runs exactly as programmed, and is accessible anywhere in the world. All right, so Ethereum is a blockchain. As you guys know, that's a very hot button word, <clears throat> or hot, yeah, just hot topic, is blockchain, cryptocurrency. It's not just cryptocurrency, it's blockchain. It's the technology that cryptocurrency is built on that makes these projects so valuable, okay? And we're going to get to the single most important feature of Ethereum and, and kind of what is making ethereum the leader in the entire cryptocurrency market in the entire world in the DeFi space okay so again De DeFi is decentralized finance all right and this is a long article but it's very well written so if you guys want to want to check this out and read the entire thing for yourself this is defipulse.com okay i'm just going to read what i believe to be the most important features and i don't want to make this video super long long-winded um so I'm just going to read uh, a few paragraphs from this. And if you, again, if you guys want to go check out the full thing, you guys can go check out DeFiPulse.com. All right. So what is DeFi? DeFi is an abbreviation of the phrase decentralized finance, which generally refers to the digital assets and financial smart contracts, protocols, and decentralized applications or dApps built on Ethereum. In simpler terms, it's financial software built on the blockchain that can be pieced together like money Legos. Okay, so that's a good way to think of it again. Um, the reason that the Ethereum blockchain is so important for this is because it's such a well-designed and such a technically savvy um, instrument that allows all these different projects and all these different financial applications to be built on top of it and to all run on that platform, okay? So every time a project is created on Ethereum, it, it, it requires Ethereum, the Ethereum token to operate and to, to so you can almost think of Ethereum as as like collateral for what that specific project is doing on its blockchain. Okay, so yeah, just just think about almost think about it as a whole bunch of individual banks, digital banks that are running on Ethereum. And Ethereum is the central bank, and then underneath them is just a whole bunch of other littler banks that are built on the blockchain. Okay, so go down here. Uh, DeFi is trying to build something different. Decentralized finance aims to create a financial system that's open to everyone and minimizes one's need to trust and rely on central authorities. Technologies like the internet, cryptography, and blockchain give us the tools to collect collectively build and control a financial system without the need for central authorities. Okay, so again, think of, think of how far we've come technologically 
since the current monetary system was put in place. Okay, so it's been our current monetary system has been around for, I think, 50 years, ever since we got off the gold standard in the 70s. And that was 50 years ago. Technology has come such a long way. And there's there's so much more potential in these newer technologies that just make that will make the financial system so much more more efficient. And I think efficiency is the best word to use in this. <clears throat> um, a big ar- argument, like this was saying, is uh, the the need to not trust central banks and authorities. Um, but I don't, I don't want to take that kind of anar- anarchistic, the anarchy route on this, um, because I think there is room for for uh, traditional banks and whatnot. But I think that again, with the implementation of the Ethereum blockchain. Imagine uh, if, if some of the largest banks out there do contract Ethereum, and that is kind of happening. A lot of banks are looking at the technology that Ethereum is using and capable of. Um, again, because they are the leaders in the space, they're leading the space in this specific decentralized finance world. And a lot of banks are looking at them. Um, think about the fact that if some of these banks and these large banks do partner with Ethereum, and again, they already are looking into partnering with Ethereum, um, of how far that will take the Ethereum project. There's going to be so much money flowing through Ethereum. And again, they, when you build on Ethereum, you do need Ethereum to, the Ethereum token as collateral for what you're building. So the more projects that are being built on Ethereum, the more Ethereum that is going to be needed and the higher that will raise, again, supply and demand. There's going to be crazy demand for Ethereum and there is only limited supply. So in turn, that will come in bringing it back to price action and um, future value as as an investment. I think that will provide a great return um, due to that argument. OK, so DeFi allows everyone to take charge of their financial well-being. Almost all DeFi applications are built on the Ethereum blockchain, the world's most popular programmable blockchain. Ethereum is a blockchain network that maintains a shared ledger of digital value. Instead of a central authority, the participants that compromise comprise the network, sorry, control the issuance of Ether, the network's native cryptocurrency in a decentralized manner. manner. And again, um, again, I don't want to get almost anarchy about this, but it does, the beauty of Ethereum is it makes every individual who, who owns Ethereum, who, um, who works with Ethereum, to be their own bank, okay? So it takes the power out of these, out of these few large players and puts it in the hands of the individual, which is very, which is very powerful. And that, uh, if you live in the U.S., that might not be a big issue because we do have such a such a stable infrastructure, to be honest. But I see a lot of potential for Ethereum in developing countries, um, countries that are really on the come up. That, again, there there is that window to to make their financial systems more efficient. And again, even for the U.S. Um, our, our current financial system, in my opinion, is pretty archaic, and I do definitely think with the implementation of Ethereum and projects like Ethereum and just other DeFi projects that are actually built on Ethereum, that our entire financial system can be rebuilt in a way more efficient way. Okay, so that is, I'm not going to go any long, <laughs> more long-winded than that. Again, if you guys want to check out this article, it's a great article that um, is worth a read if you are interested in Ethereum. But again, I just wanted to let you know that that is the primary reason that I'm invested. I'm in this for the long run. Again, the, don't don't worry if if you want to invest in Ethereum. Don't worry about the day to day price action. It's awesome to see it popping right now. That's great. But really focus on the revolutionary technology and um, and value that this project adds, and focus on that. Continue to educate yourself on this, and trust me. Um, this uh, what I was just talking about is just a drop in the bucket. There's so much more depth to what you can learn about this project. And again, I truly believe in it. Uh, I didn't mention this at first, but Ethereum was actually my first uh, my first love in the cryptocurrency space. I, I've, I'm much more diversified now. I own um, I have stakes in a few projects, but Ethereum was the very first first token I invested in back in 2017. And um, again, it was what initially interested me in cryptocurrency. And I'm very thankful to it for that. And um, yeah, I'm stoked to see where this goes in the future. All right, so if you guys have any questions at all, if you guys want to talk about Ethereum or any other cryptocurrencies, drop a comment below. Um, always happy to talk shop with you guys. So again, feel free to ask ask me anything. I'll be sure to answer you. I don't get many comments, so it doesn't make it too hard on me. But 
yeah, just let me know if you guys uh, want to talk about anything, really. And um, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video, if you gained value from this. And I'd appreciate it if you subscribed as well, if you want to catch more content like this, all right? So always remember, you guys, make waves in these markets. Until next time, peace. Ether.